All right, Rick, thank you so much. Now, we are almost six months away from Halloween, but it's never too early to start celebrating, and you can do that this weekend because a spooky swap meet is happening at a historic location that not a lot of people know about. So we're here to tell us all about it. Claire Dunlap, co-creator and co-producer of the event. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So before we came on, came on camera, I was asking you, wait a minute, is your whole life just full of haunting things? <laughs> and then also, I was curious why springtime? So this marks halfway to Halloween. Mm -hmm. So this weekend marks halfway to Halloween. Well, we're playing, you know, we play with it a little bit, but yes, it marks halfway to Halloween. So that is why we are celebrating Spooky Swap Meet this time of year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense when you put it like that. I wasn't sure if there was some significance over springtime that I didn't know about or anything like that. That's why I was curious. Okay, so tell me how this even came about. So uh, my girlfriend and I, her name is Sarah Cook. She's actually the other co-creator and co-producer on this show. Um, the four of us are partners and we're, it was born out of the pandemic. We were having dinner when it was legal to do so. And we were disappointed because one of the events where we sell our items was canceled. Oh, okay. So a lot of times we go to this event and we'll sell things that we were ready to let go of for because we're Halloween hoarders. And, <laughs> and I said, we need to do that. We need to do something like a big old garage sale. And she's like, like a spooky swap meet. And I ran inside and I bought the domains. And then uh, that is the short truncated version of how it came about. And now, <laughs> so it's been here for a couple of years then? We have, this is our fourth year. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. And yeah, we uh, had known about the Heritage Square Museum, which is a beautiful area. If you've not been to it, 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 um, it preserves the history of Los Angeles. It mm -hmm. has a bunch of manors that have been relocated from various parts of Los, Los Angeles. So it's like walking into an outdoor Victorian na neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we saw that venue and John, Sarah's husband, John Cook, who's also a mm -hmm. big haunt industry person said, um, He's like, what about trick or treating? And we're like, yeah. So, <laughs> and so that's what we, that's part of what we have there. Yeah. So is it happening all weekend or is it just one day this weekend? It's actually all weekend. Okay. We, uh, the past three years, we've only been Saturday and Sunday, but mm -hmm. the demand was such that we were able to add a third evening. That's so great. we have Friday. Yes. So then when people go there, what can they expect? I'm assuming a bunch of different booths. Do you have to bring something yourself to then swap with someone else or how does it work? So no, it's actually like a flea market. Okay. So there are vendors that, have their wares, their spooky vendors that, that they sell the things that they already produce. But then there's also a um, an element of adding personal items like that they're ready to let go of from storage units and that kind of thing. So that there's the swap meet aspect of it. That is so so you'll, yeah, a lot of secondhand spooky, a lot of you know different. Um, lovingly used items, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> do you need a ticket to get in? Yes, you do. Okay, yeah, so absolutely. give me the information for that. Okay, so unfortunately, we, are, we sold out last no. Friday. But, okay. but okay. as a special treat, uh -huh. we are going to release a few tickets each day okay. specifically for the show. Oh, wonderful. So um, by 11, it should, uh, my partner, my business partner is gonna be opening that up right now. So if you go to SpookySwapMeet.com, you should be able to get some tickets. I love it. I love how you were like, no, nah, I got to tell you this, but, but thank you for, <laughs> for making an exception. Yeah. Curious, how did this come about in your life? What is it about Halloween that made you want to, you know, host this Halloween event and whatever other, because I know you said you had another one too. I do. We do. We have another event um, that takes place in Long Beach mm -hmm. at the Long Beach Convention Center, and that's at the end of July. It's called Midsummer Scream, and that is is a massive Halloween and horror convention and we kick off the Halloween season with that and so we have all the theme parks everybody comes out it's show floor filled with vendors we have the Hall of Shadows which is a haunted walkthroughs this spooky swap meet is is a much tamer version of that mm -hmm. there'll be a lot of people but there will be cosmetics and trick-or-treating and haunted houses and there's gonna be all kinds of fun things to do at spooky swap meet but to answer your original question I have always loved Halloween mm -hmm. it was something that I just grew up loving my mom would uh, decorate our house. We grew up in Hawaii part time, and I'd go trick or treating, you know, in the 70s with the pillowcase and the whole thing. And um, <laughs> I and I, yeah, we've just always loved it. And when I met my partner, who's actually my life partner, he happened to we happened to have that in common. And then. Just as the years progressed, we managed to make a career out of it. It's a perfect match. Yeah. 
Well, this is lovely. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and tell everyone once again where it's at, when it starts, and how to get more information. Okay, so um, it's this Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. You can go to SpookySwapMeet.com for information. It's very easy, straightforward. <laughs> we are also on Instagram. You can follow us there. Um, and it's at the Los Angeles Heritage Square Museum. Make sure you go to the Los Angeles Heritage Square Museum because there is one in Orange County and that's not us. Got it. Uh, and that's the entrance is located at 3515 Pasadena Avenue. It's very important to note that's a different entry and address than the event address or the um, location address. The location address, we don't enter that way. It's the neighbors don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm glad I asked you these questions. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Have so much fun this weekend and happy early Halloween. Thank you so much. Carve